Okay guys, let's try to name covalent compounds now. So, when naming covalent compounds, of course, you've got to recognize covalent compounds are between two nonmetals, uh, and you use the prefix method. So, if you remember, the prefixes are mono, di, tri, tetra, penta, etc. So, when naming compounds, uh, for the first atom, if there's only one of them, you don't use the mono, but that's it, okay? So, for this first compound, we call it carbon monoxide. Okay, notice we didn't say monocarbon monoxide. So we use the mono only for the second atom. This one, since there's four phosphorus, we'll say tetra, since that means four, and phosphorus. So tetra, phosphorus, five oxygens, well that's pent, penta, but for this one we'll just be pent oxide. SO3, remember? If there's only one, you just write the name of the element if it comes first. So sulfur trioxide, because tri is the prefix for three. This one, of course, has two nitrogens, so it's going to be dinitrogen, five oxygens, pentoxide. And last, we're going to have one carbon, so it's going to be just carbon, and two sulfurs, disulfide. So good job, guys. You should be able to do these on your own now.